hello friends today we see the another topic in applied thermodynamics by me myself gaurav jagdish patak and we are see the new topic regarding thermodynamics is psychometric processes as in the last topic we see there is a representation on psychometric chart about various processes sensible uh, cooling sensible heating wet bulb temperature dry bulb temperature saturation temperature these all parameters by contributing or calculating these points in the air conditioning system likewise winter air conditioning heat summer air conditioning or industrial special purpose application air conditioning system so friends to achieve this process we have to control or we can say we have to conditions to conditioning this the air the pressure purity and the speed the motion moment and all these parameters for the pleasant purpose of human being actually the air conditioning system is developed for comfort of human being and to achieve this comfort we have to control or we have to manage some condition that everybody or every human being feels a comfort in air conditioning system the various psychometric processes are sensible heating sensible cooling dehumidification humidification adiabatic cooling and adiabatic mixing of moist air and water vapor by controlling these six parameter we can achieve the process of psychometry in the various required conditions likewise we can see one by one here psychometric process now what are the psychometric process for particular air conditioning process that is sensible heating first one it is nothing but addition of heat to the moist air see i have repeat what is sensible heating it is nothing but addition of heat to the moist air without the addition of moisture without the addition of moisture there is no moisture content only heating is there then such type of heating we can say as a sensible heating and the humidity ratio lines of psychometric chart we can see this process on sensible heating line likewise this these are we can say the sensible heating line which are represented on slant wise the heating coil is provided only no wetted bulb or pad or moisture content said there is provided only heating coils are there and we required such conditions in dry air area in the winter air conditioning system now we can say another process is sensible cooling in sensible cooling it is the removal of heat from moist air such kind of conditions are required in summer air conditioning it is nothing but removal of heat from moist air such kind of process is called sensible cooling and without removal of moisture the moisture content we are required in that particular stage somewhat area of in our india or another countries like where the moisture content is required and only removal of heat is required on that conditions we can control these two parameters only removal of heat without any kind of moisture such kind of process is called sensible cooling now another process we have is sensible heat and cool process sensible heat and cool in which the addition or removal of sensible heat 
विदाउट चेंज ऑफ एब्सोल्यूट मॉइस्चर कंटेन आई हैव रिपीट वंस अगेन एडिशन और रिमूवल ऑफ सेंसिबल हीट विदाउट चेंज इन एब्सोल्यूट मॉइस्चर कंटेन we we have to achieve for achieving this type of conditions we can say sensible heating and cooling process now for this purpose third one is cooling and dehumidification in this process we have to remove the humidified humid air from the particular system it is nothing but removal of heat and moisture from moist air such kind of conditions are required near the ocean area likewise in mumbai there is a continuous moisture content in the air is high in such kind of area these two parameters are required and for that reason we have to design air conditioning system where the requirement by focusing on the requirement of area that removal of heat and moisture from the moist air now dehumidification achieve with the help of cooling dehumidification with cooling now in the cooling coils temperature or air reduce and the saturation point we can say as dew point time is reached and it is represented on psychometry chart on you can see on your screen on right side of your the further cooling results in reduction of absolute humidity another process is dehumidification by cooling now how dehumidification can achieve it is refrigerant we can see we have to follow from the coil and on another uh, on the right side of your diagram on the psychometry chart we, have, we can see the dry bulb temperature and it is the illustration of dehumidification by cooling for the next process is heating and humidifying heating and humidifying it is the addition of heat and moisture to the moisture some are areas where the moisture content level is very low into the air of atmospheric side and we have to add the moisture to the air for adding the heat and moisture to the air it is the process is called heating and humidifying and these process are required us in particular days of winter season this achievement is called heating and humidification now friends what do you mean by actual humidification it is the addition of moisture to the moist and air without addition of heat humidification only humidification is required in where the only addition of moisture to the moist air without addition of heat it is represented on that psychometry chart there is the cooling heating humidification and dehumidification by uh, by adding the humidity we can see that our graph is pro is vertically goes on upward for cooling purpose it will be move from on x axis on left side and for heating purpose it can move on right side now what is the adiabatic or evaporative cooling in the psychometric process it can be involves the cooling without heat loss or gain then the sensible heat loss by the air which can be converted to latent heat is added over the water vapor such kind of process we can say as adiabatic or evaporative cooling now this adiabatic or humidification cooling can be represented on psychometric chart in front of your screen that is the saturation curve we see in the last topic that is on left hand side and absolute humidity line is on y axis the dry bulb temperature below it and the humidification added the humidity that's why the process is touching the saturation curve line and that is nothing but evaporative cooling now adiabatic mixing of moist air and steam the psychometric process that involves no net heat loss or gain during the mixing only addition or mixing of moisture into the air is called adiabatic mixing of air moisture 
that is called adiabatic mixing that is summation of only moisture into the dry air and it, this process can be achieved by applying the water droplets into the particular air air that is the climates are represented on the various requirement as per the area so the basic three parts of the air conditioning system we can see that summer air conditioning winter air conditioning and special purpose or industrial application air conditioning system and for to achieve the all these conditions we can contribute or we can say control the various parameters like this this is all about the various cooling processes about the psychometric chart and the various processes in psychometry thank you friends thank you very much we can see another topic in thermodynamics in next phase thanks